Hi there, I'm Anne Berger. I have been in the teaching profession for over 30 years and I worked my way up from being a teacher through the ranks, so to speak, and I ended my career as the principal of a wonderful primary school in our area. I'm formally trained, I have a BA degree, and I have done many co uh, shorter courses, most notably probably the advanced course in education, which centered on educational management. Teaching was very kind to me, it was a wonderful career for me, and certainly one that I never regretted. But having said that, I'm also very aware of the fact that it's an extremely challenging career, and more so as the years progress. Discipline is probably the one aspect that makes teaching so very challenging. Um, more and more so as the years progress, not because the children have changed in any way, but because I find that society and the family unit has become quite fractured. And so more and more we are dealing with children that actually come to school with a lot of baggage, whether it is that they come from a broken home and some sadly from even worse circumstances than that. In fact, I found towards the end of my teaching career that probably it was quite an anomaly to find a child that came just from a very happy two-parent background. The problem is that with such instances, very often parents are feeling very guilty about a divorce or whatever's going on in their lives. So they are very soft on children in terms of discipline because of that guilt. Also, you can just get the parents that are traveling through hectic traffic to work, they're dealing with pressure, high pressure jobs, very tired when they come home after sometimes a 12, 13 hour day and they're just too emotionally exhausted to actually deal with discipline issues with their children. That leaves you in a very precarious position because you then get these children that very often are ill-disciplined into your classroom and the minute you try and put some sort of structure in place it is very challenging and the children start to rebel against that. I must say that I have been blessed that I really didn't ever battle with discipline and I know many of my colleagues used to say towards the end of my career that it was because the children respected the title of principal. I strongly disagree with that because I wasn't always a principal. I started out as a young teacher and I even then didn't have a problem with discipline. I, and I need to say, I taught 13 and 14 year olds and maths at that. So I think you'll all agree that that's probably a pretty challenging age group to teach. So what I'd like to share with you and discuss with you are some very useful tips that I picked up over the years in terms of constructive, fair, not punitive discipline, which leaves the child happy and secure leads you not totally stressed at the end of the day and effective teaching can take place. Certainly three things that I will be going into a great deal of detail about when we chat about discipline is what I believe the three cornerstones are being firm, being fair and being consistent. We'll go into a great deal more detail about these and many other tips that I can give you in order for you to have an effectively disciplined, happy environment in which you can teach. Thank you and I hope to see you.